I uh, posted on my Twitter and my Insta these thumb grips. If you guys didn't see them, here they are. So I thought I'd do a little quick upload and let you guys see basically my review of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test out the grips on my actual controller, which I've got right here. Sexual. Um, I'm going to test them out. But this is, uh, I just got these in the mail this morning. They're by a company called, I'm assuming this means dope. Like, it's spelt D-O-H-P-E-G. Wait, D-O-H-P-E and then games. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's dope games. I think that's what it is. That's what the cool kids say. Anyway, so <laughs> I think it's dope games. But I just want to shout out real quick, like, this card is pretty cool. Let me just show you guys. This is what it comes, like, this is how it comes. So I got it, like, in an envelope, obviously. And it comes like this. I assume if you buy more, maybe you get them in, like, a bag or something, like a little baggie. Um, but I got this little card situation. Or oh, possibly they're, like, if you get them, like, obviously if you get pairs... You'd get maybe them individually wrapped like this. So you'd get like a bunch of like little cards, which I think is pretty cool. I quite like this. I like it. It's it's a nice way to sort it out. It's not like, you know, a bag with like just groups everywhere. Um, and I think like I like the distinction of having uniqueness and having everything separate. So if that's what they do, that's really cool. But that's what I got. So I'm pretty happy. So have a look at them. So I got rainbow because like, you know, I'm a uh, fabulous Fabulous. Yes, girl. Yes. Just like that. So I got rainbow. They look pretty cool. Um, I like that they're both like a little bit different. And uh, like I said, this is the card. So you guys can follow them on Instagram, uh, their actual website, Twitter. It's the same uh, thing. And I like that they've got, I can't remember what this, uh, this Pokemon is called. What is this Pokemon called? Is it Ghastly? No, it's not. What is it? You guys can see it. Wait, let me just... Let me minimize my face. Let's just make this my face. That's my face now. Anyway, I don't know if you can see it. My phone is trash, so... But you guys can follow them. I like that little card. Like, it's cool. It's like a little gamer pad. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Anyway, I like it. I'm a weirdo. I know. So, I'm going to open this up for you guys. Because, like I said, I just got this. And I'm pretty excited. Um, the only other groups that I've really purchased is... I've used the... I use the Control Freaks... For Call of Duty, as you guys know, I play COD, and uh, so I use you know Control Freaks for for Call of Duty, um, which is they're like heavy duty uh, thumb grips, and I also have just some basic like little paw print ones. I don't know if you guys have seen them. If you've ever seen my streams, I've put them on there. So I use those, but they're not really uh, heavy duty grips. Uh, the Control Freaks are they're pretty decent, but I haven't been using them because I've got them on my second controller. So right now I've been using this controller, which is like my my bomb diggity of controllers. This is the expensive one. So I have been just using the standard, you know, DualShock. Like it's, I mean, it's customized, but like there's nothing actually customized about, you know, there's no, there's nothing else added to it. Um, so I'm cool using this, but like sometimes when I play Call of Duty, the normal like joystick uh, grips are like pretty hard and uh, it's kind of difficult when you're gaming for a long amount of time and extensive hours especially with a game like Call of Duty where you're going pretty fucking hard like I'm a sweat like I'm an absolute sweat um, and speaking of sweat I've literally actually ordered as well some actual controller grips like so they actually wrap around the controller um, so they're like sweat grips but they're called uh, control grips so I've ordered some of those. They're coming from Germany. So I don't know when when they're going to be here. But when those are here, I will do a review of those too. So essentially, I'm trying to maximize my gaming experience. So I can have hopefully the controller grip. So I can grip it better and last longer. Alright, I'll stop. <laughs> so I can last longer in my gaming sessions. And be as comfortable as possible. Especially if you're a gamer like me who gets sweaty hands. I only get sweaty when I play COD. I don't know what it is. I stress out, guys. Um, but also the thumb grip. So essentially I'm trying to customize my controller and my gaming experience. So let me uh, shut the fuck up and review these thumb grips. Now they are, I'm assuming, made of silicon, like a rubber silicon, because most of them are. These are pretty small. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm used to, the ones I've got are larger. But in saying that the control freaks that I have stick onto the thumb, onto the, uh, thumb grip thing, the, on the uh, analog 
controller here, the stick, joystick. I call it a joystick, I'm so old school. But they stick on and then like sort of add on a layer. Uh, whereas these ones actually wrap around here. So these are different. These are like your more standard thumb grips. Now, upon reviewing, uh, they're kind of, I'm assuming this is from Paki, uh, yeah, like it feels like maybe this is from uh, like packaging, like they're pretty tight. So um, what they have is, I don't know if I can show you guys, probably can't see, but they're sort of like indented in. I don't know if I can show you. There you go. See that? So they're like indented in. And they have, let me see if we've got 8 or 10. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we've got 10. So this is, um, I think this would be a looser gaming experience kind of grip. I can't remember if 10 is like a more varied thumb grip or if it's 8. I don't remember. But basically there's different dots for your for your thumbs to grip onto so it, it customizes your gaming experience depending how much grip you want to have and like basically it's like think of it like a car tire and you've got something that's sort of like is cool when you're drifting like in the rain and then you want something that's more like you know what i mean it's gonna do that so that's kind of what the dots represent on thumb grips if you didn't know so this one has 10 um but you can also get eight uh dot points so I think that this is, I can't remember, this is, I could be getting it wrong, but this is either a more casual gaming experience type of thumb grip, or it's actually a more precise one. I don't remember, but uh, I just didn't, I know that there's two different types. So they're indented in, like I said, if you can see. Uh, these look so cool, I'm not going to lie, these, these look, they look dope. See what I did there? Yeah. They do though. They look really fucking cool. Um, I love the rainbow color. Alright, I'm going to try and put them on. These are really tight. I'm not going to lie. I think these are like small. I think you can get different sizes. Like you can get small grips and like large grips. This is going to... I hope... I don't know. We'll see. i got to be careful too. Like this controller. It's the other thing about thumb grips. You know, our equipment is expensive. So we want a good product. We want something that's going to work. And it's going to be easy to put on. And it's not going to give me too much trouble because I don't want to fuck, fuck up this controller uh, at all. Oh, you know what? This is actually... Oh, okay. Hold up, girl. This might take me half an hour, guys. Bear with me. Bear with me. We can do it. I was actually going to say, this is actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. It's a... Uh, it's actually stretching over quite nice. Oh shit, girl, I got it. That was quicker than I thought it would be. That's pretty decent. All right, let me see. So, okay, cool. So they actually stretch on with actually quite a bit of room to play around with. That's pretty decent. I really like that. All right, let's put the other one on. I'll show you guys when I'm done. See if we can do this again. Is it as easy the second time round? Oh my god, it really is. That's great. All right, I'm so far so good. I'm pretty happy because I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Like I've had a lot of trouble with certain thumb grips. They look tiny and they just don't stretch on. That is very impressive. That looks so cool. I'm very impressed by that. That took me all of like a minute. You guys saw that? It took me all of a minute. Now, even though these looked small and they felt really like tight, uh, they obviously are designed to stretch over your thumb grips. So. That was really cool. And if you can see, I don't know if I can show you. See how it's got like a little line here? So it's got a line that shows you the balance of the midsection of your thumb grip. So ideally, you'd want to have it basically like this one. I don't know if you can see. Do you see how that line is right in the middle? That's how you want to put your thumb grips. Now, it doesn't matter which way you want to turn it. So let's say like that one's on this side and you want this to be the same. So you'd simply just turn the grip. Now... Be careful with this, don't just like do that because you might ruin the joystick, so just take your time. And then you can turn it and just have them sort of the same if that's what you want. So that's not an issue. Um, but if you can see, this one isn't isn't level. So I'm just going to adjust this and pull it down so it wraps tight around the grip. You want it to have a nice actual grip on your, on your joysticks. That feels interesting, I'm not going to lie. It feels prickly. Not in a bad way, like it's just different. I'm not used to these types of thumb grips. 
Um, my control freaks have a different pattern altogether. So this is more of a standard style, like I said. All right, let me just feel them for a second. Okay, so I will say that the, the dot points stick out quite a bit. And they seem to be of high quality and high standards, I would say. Because they're very uniquely... Like, I can tell that they're there. And I can literally feel every single one. Um, there's no there's no give or and like slip or anything like that. I really like uh, the feel of this. Because over time, you've got to remember, when you're gaming and you're just doing this constantly, these little dot points are going to wear down. And these dot points are basically your stability and what give you the grip. Because your thumb is going to be right in the middle section here where it's indented inwards. Now the indentation isn't that uh, significant once you actually put it on your controller grips. On your controller, sorry. So if you guys can see, it's not that indented. I don't know if you can tell. I'm really impressed with these. I really like these. So, so far, um, so far out of like 10, I'm probably going to give these like an 8. No shit. I'm really impressed. This is also like this uh, company, Dope Games. They're, I'm pretty sure they're based in Sydney, Australia, which is amazing for gamers like me because I'm in a, well, I'm in Australia, so I'm an Australian gamer, I guess you could say it that way. Um, so I'm pretty impressed with these. I don't know how they're going to hold up with uh, gaming sessions over time, but uh, I really like these. I think they're made of high quality, so you guys should get yourself a pair. I wanted to do that review for you guys real quick, especially for my Aussie gamers that follow me, fellow Aussie gamers. That looks so good. I, I'm so happy. That looks so fucking sick. This is exactly what I wanted it to look like. So anyway, that's my review of the uh, Dope Games thumb grips, controller grips. These are the rainbow color, obviously. Um, and this is their card if you want to get some for yourself. So I'll leave it like that. Thank you guys for watching. I will uh, keep you guys updated on Twitter. Um, or I might even make another video upload uh, after like a week's use and like give you guys a you know a week of and let you know how they how they fare in like seven days after hard heavy duty use because I'm going to use these for modern warfare tonight and we'll see how we go see if they can hack it uh, but if they can stand the feet of modern warfare I think they're going to be pretty good either way though even for light gaming sessions uh, this is going to give you a little bit more grip they're they're not that they're not slippery uh, I quite like them so yeah that's my review of the thumb grips. So I hope you guys liked it. Leave a thumbs up if you did. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.